Mario. Hello, everybody. This is your one and only boy, Lava Server Seventy Seven, and in today's video, guys, I am going to be teaching you guys how to make your own custom texture pack for MCP. So, a lot of you developers or whatnot, you know, maybe want to make a texture pack. You know, probably your first time, and probably you probably don't know the advanced part of the texture pack. But I'm going to be teaching you guys the simplest way you guys can create any texture pack in MCP without going into a you you know having to use like a computer or a pc or anything like that and this is probably the easiest way i'd recommend this isn't the best thing so you know you're not going to get all that you'd be able to edit all the textures but you will be able to edit most of the key like i guess textures if i say so myself mainly just the blocks and whatnot i don't think you'll be able to edit like the mobs and stuff but i will make an update tutorial on that but anyways let's just get started into the video soon what i am what you are going to need is two different apps so you're going to need minecraft and two box for mcp so let me just get that out right now so you're gonna need minecraft i'll just put those on the screen right now so we got minecraft and then we'll get toolbox not toolbox but ultimate toolkit for mcp i'll leave a link to both of those apps in the description below so basically this is what it is now you have to have 1.0.5 and above now obviously i'm on 1.1.3 so this should work. so what we are going to be doing is we're going to go open ultimate toolkit so just wait for that it might ask you to log in just you know ignore that you don't have to log in obviously so that's pretty pretty cool now you guys can see we have a whole lot of options there's like a bunch of texture pack skin blogs options tuner resource pack converter you're gonna go to this thing right over here where it says texture pack creator so you're just gonna click on that and you guys can see i already have one it should be empty for you so what you are gonna click on is new so we'll just do that and you can name it whatever you want so i'm gonna name it ls77 yt texture pack there we go that that's what we're gonna name it so we're gonna click okay now what this is doing right now is it's, it's extracting all the blocks in mcb so that's why we need to have an up-to-date minecraft so make sure you it is obviously update to up to date so that way this can successfully extract each and every file from the game so now you guys can see we have a bunch of stuff that we can't edit so we can you know we can edit the name of the texture pack we can edit the blocks we can edit the items we can edit the armor so we're just going to do a few things here and there so you guys can see we, we have a painting to edit pretty pretty cool stuff so we're going to actually try and edit a block so i'm actually thinking of editing Hmm, let me let me find one how about the brick block okay so this is obviously how a brick block does look and here's a bunch of colors you can choose from if you're not satisfied obviously with these colors you can click on this little thing and you guys can see you have a variety of colors to choose from so pretty pretty cool stuff so you know i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna choose this uh, lime green one so i'm gonna click color new color i think that's what you're supposed to okay there we go so now you guys can see we're just gonna draw around it there you guys go this is our new updated brick block pretty pretty cool stuff looking looking dope right now okay okay nice stuff uh okay so we're gonna try and create another item so let me try and edit a sword so let's go let's go find a weapon okay let me try and find an axe and make one of those bloody axes let me let me find it. i know guys this might get this video might get age restricted this is really really cool guys I, oh my god i don't know i don't know just really bad stuff oh my god Okay, let me, let me find a sword. Okay, here we go. Let's do an iron axe. So let's take some blood. Let's make some fake blood. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. We just we just topped a villager's head off. Okay, there we go. All right, all right. There we go. There's our, our there's our iron axe. And the, one thing I do like about this app is actually you guys do have a visual. I'm like more of a visual person. You guys know me. I'm not the best reader, obviously. Even for my age, I just I'm not that good with the grammar and reading, just whatnot. So for me, what really does help out, and I'm, on top of that, I'm more of a visual type of person. So, you know, I honestly prefer, like, looking at things rather than having to, like, you know, read things. I, I, just, I don't know what it is. It's just me. I don't like reading in general. It's just, that's just me. I don't know why. But, yeah, so we can save the texture pack, obviously. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. So, maybe let's change the armor, maybe. Let's try and change a painting. Hmm, I'm, I'm thinking of... I think I'm gonna change this 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 girl. Okay, let's we're gonna we're gonna make her look ugly. Okay, look, we're we're just gonna draw all over her face, make her look really really bad. And actually, if you guys if you guys want to customize your painting, what you guys can do is actually find a like a raw image, and then you can actually like you know you you know you can actually edit this on a PC, and you know you can maybe take a picture of your face, and then you can like make trim it to make it like smaller, if I say so. And then you can like make it fit inside the painting and then it'll, it'll look like it'll be a painting of you it's pretty pretty cool so 
you know you don't have i mean it's not going to look obviously as good it's going to make you look really really bad but yeah so this is our texture pack that we have cr successfully created once you guys are done and you don't have to compress it or anything like that the good thing about this is you don't have to manually compress it and you know into an mc file and all that stuff you can just simply do it with this app so you guys once you guys are done you guys are just going to hold on this and you're going to click you're going to actually click you're going to click on the text pack and now you're going to click apply to minecraft pe so you're just going to click that and now you guys can see it's going to take a, a bit of a while so you guys can see once the ad has popped up that means it's finally done it so now once what we can do is we can actually open our minecraft all right so you guys can see minecraft has successfully loaded so what we are going to do is now we're going to go to the settings and actually what i'm going to do i actually want to apologize for actually on my sound guys i forgot to do that in the video so let me just do that really quick i'm sorry guys that's just it really it really does bother me so we're just let me just off the sound really really quick let me okay there we go now we're gonna go to global resources and you guys can see i've already had a, a text i've already tested out a texture pack but you guys can see it says created with mcp so it is it's created with uzk so you guys can see we're just going to click on that and then you guys can see once it has successfully imported you know if i were you guys maybe restart minecraft once you have it imported just just in case because sometimes it may make your world crash and whatnot but yeah so we're just going to go and open a world up really quick and we'll be right back all right so you guys can see it actually gave me this message saying minecraft isn't responding so this is why i said you guys have to restart it otherwise this will most likely happen so we're just going to close it and we'll be right back All right, so let's see if it works. I can already, I can already see something on the bottom already. I can already see on the bottom that the texture pack has worked, but I want to see if it works. Hopefully, so you guys can see the brick has successfully worked, obviously, because I obviously that stairs did indicate to me that it did work. So let me just turn on my settings because it is a little bit laggy. I want to apologize for not coming prepared for this video, guys. I just wanted to make up a random video today just to upload. You know, not, I don't want to leave you guys hanging. You know, because I'm lava slayer and I'm probably like one of the best YouTuber you guys will ever see. But yeah, well, all right, yo, let me let me turn this down, okay? This is this is just absolutely getting ridiculous. Let me turn it down to ten chunks. That should be a lot more better. Okay, that's a lot more smoother. Okay, okay. So yeah, you guys can see this is the crafting table. The crafting table has worked. So you know, pretty pretty cool stuff. Let's see if our painting has actually worked. So, let me let me, let me let, let's go see how our painting did because you know, guys, I worked so hard on that painting and that probably was the most hardest thing for me to make in this whole world. Like just just wow. So let me just let me just put that up there maybe okay there we go that's that's good enough so let's get our painting out and let's see if that has worked so let's go also check out our axe let's see if our axe has worked you guys can see our axe has successfully worked you guys can see we, we actually have a bloody axe it's pretty pretty crazy so you know we're gonna wait let's go I'm, I'm okay i'm not gonna go chop that villager's head off i know you guys are probably telling me in the cops section below to go you know cut this guy's head off but come on guys that's a little bit too you know brutal that's that's just messed up okay i'm, I'm gonna free you okay okay this villager is my homie right here. Okay, okay, okay. So let, let's actually go and check if a vindicator can actually have this. So I'm just, I'm just curious if this will work on mobs. I don't know if it just does that on the particular item, or if it actually does like actually like legitimately, you know, retexture everything. So let's let me just spawn a vindicator, and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually make him go hostile. So is he is he gonna go near this villager? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fe fellow friend. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get my vindicator to actually attack you. I'm sorry for the video's sake but you guys can see he does actually hold his axe out so you know it is pretty pretty cool stuff he actually did have blood on the axe so that's pretty pretty awesome so it does obviously work now this is just for beginners so if you're not i highly suggest that you guys do start off with something as simple as this and then as you, you do progressively get better you can start going more advanced and like actually editing mobs and whatnot you obviously will need a PC if you want to do a good job of a texture pack, but you don't even have to have a PC. You can just simply do it straight up from your Android device, and you know, you know, I will be doing t more tutorials on how to actually do these. But you know, this tutorial is particularly for you beginners that don't know how to make texture packs. I know for me, I had a like a pretty pretty difficult time. You know, back then this app was not actually out, and I did have a bit difficult time actually making texture packs for MCP. So you know, it, it was really frustrating for me. You know, I, especially with someone like me. You know, I'm one of those people that don't. Have have a lot of patience with stuff like this you know i'm the one that probably kind of rage a little bit when stuff like this doesn't work but yeah you guys can see it's actually working so this is just something you know for you guys to start off with if you get and then as you guys do get better you can progressively you know 
you know you can you can switch off to different like you know programs to use but this is kind of one that i recommend for you beginners so i do hope you guys did enjoy this video you know if you are curious on how to make a texture pack this is, and you probably are this is your first time you know good job good job you know probably you know maybe if you want to get into texture pack designing and if you guys want to make texture packs then i highly suggest that you do, do use different programs because this is not really that good this is just for beginners but yeah i just wanted to show you beginners how to actually do this so i hope you guys do enjoy this video i will drop a like if you guys did enjoy this video and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and turn that notification button on okay i don't know who you are but you better turn that notification on okay because if you don't do that i'm gonna come straight to all of y'all house houses and i'm gonna make you turn that notification button on that's right guys um, that's how serious i am you better turn that no i'm just joking guys hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys for watching see you later see you boy signing out bye